Man, R.I.P. to Alien Colonial Marines. Oh, face palms. <laughs> Gearbox, we love you, but what the bloody hell? We're gonna go now and read a couple of reviews. It's a little, a little. God, this. I'm way too emotional for this, but we have to start. We have, we have to do this. This is our healing process. So we got, we got to let it out. We're gonna read some reviews from Metacritic, and then we can get a little. The healing process can begin. Sure. It looks like the film on the surface, but you don't have to dig very far to find a game that fails to live up to the license, computer and video games. If Gearbox's quality scale has Borderlands 2 at one end and Duke Nukem at the other, Colonial Marines sits somewhere in the middle. PlayStation Official Magazine, UK. Aliens are back in the video game scene, however. The game does little justice to the film series and lags behind in technical aspects when compared to current titles. LAPS3. It has been delayed for more than a decade, and yet it still has parts that look that old and still not finished. Eurogamer, Sweden. Alien Colonial Marines, ODS mess can be smelled from low orbit. And only the most ardent alien fans will find anything redeeming. Game Informer. The whole idea was probably doomed from the very start, but this is a disappointingly slipshod effort. With a story campaign somehow feels more old fashioned than a decades old movie it's based on. Metro Game Central. Very sad. I like your accent though. It was it was very cool. It was kinda like British. I, I Not really. Know, I don't know. It's my, it was my made up accent, but it's very sad. Well, this just goes to show you, dude. It's it's been in development hell. It's been there for a long time, but you gotta QA your games before you. What the hell, Gearbox? What the hell? We've been looking forward to it, but what dude, the hell? 